Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Krobus. We finally did it, we unlocked Krobus, finally got to meet him. Now it's just a matter of getting our coop all up and upgraded so we can hatch ourselves a void chicken. In the meantime, there are other gifts that we are able to gift Krobus that he will enjoy just as much. Ooh, lots of blueberries today. <laughs> okay, we'll get this all taken care of here. We still have a little bit of watering, but thanks to our sprinklers, it's not as bad as it used to be. Oh, here we go. The last couple. So it's going to be a lot of fun getting to know Krobus over the next little while. Not just that, but we have so much to do and get done. I think it was 10,000 gold to get that coop upgrade, so we're already well on our way there. Looks like we're going to be needing some wood, so that might be our mission of the day, is trying to get that coop upgraded before Tuesday hits, because... Tuesdays are a little difficult since Robin likes to go and exercise over by P. Airs. So if we want to get that coop upgraded sooner rather than later, we are going to have to pull up our socks and get it done today. I think we still need to grab the last few things that we left down by the Trout Derby area. Oh. <laughs> Of course, we'd run into a budding tree. <laughs> Good morning, Luna. Oh, the bow just jumps right off her head when she barks. <laughs> Hello, our little chickens. Oh, you've wandered off into the forest. We should probably clear that down. That might be where we get a whole bunch of our wood. Okay. We'll get these little eggs shipped off and put our watering can away and then find out where we left that ax. Perfect, I love it when it's the first place I look. <laughs> okay, now we do have our bucket hat that we can probably take off for now. <laughs> It'll look just a little funny wearing that one. Throw it in with the rest. Oh, did not leave. Oh my goodness, I threw the wrong tool in. That's too funny. Okay, I am clearly too excited and can't hit the correct buttons on a controller today. <laughs> oh, it's all good. Let's start clearing things down. So, Krobus likes diamonds. That'll be an easy enough gift for him. He also likes the void mayonnaise. But of course, we can't make that until we have a void chicken and ironically he likes the void mayonnaise just as much as a regular void egg so you really don't need to go the extra step to do it <laughs> so i think that kind of solves our question of what we should put in our crystallarium we can do diamonds for the moment because we can always change it out later once we get those void eggs um happening when our chicken, our little void chick, will hatch. It's going to be a bit of a process, but you know, in a couple weeks by the time fall hits, we should have that void chicken laying us some wonderful little eggs, and Krobus will just be admiring us from afar. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad that he feels like he has to stay in the sewers and that he's not going to be welcomed by the other villagers and stuff. I think Stardew Valley is fairly welcoming, it seems. Well, then again, <laughs> I'm kind of just thinking about Shane and Haley's reaction to us when we first arrived. It really wasn't the greatest, so maybe we can see uh, Krobus's point there. <laughs> I guess I would like to think that they would be very welcoming to Krobus. <laughs> But I guess I'm thinking more of the Harvest Moon 64 villagers where they were all very welcoming to us when we started up on our grandpa's farm. Oh, we have some new ideas to sleep on. Wonderful. 
And that moss is fantastic. We never did plant any of our mossy seeds, did we? We could make like a little tree farm for ourselves because it sounds like moss is more likely to grow on trees that are planted near a full grown mossy seed tree. Oh my goodness, we had so many trees over here. Do we have, okay, we can make a couple field snacks. I was gonna say we are getting low on energy here. Should probably start chopping down some more of the maple trees before we completely run out of energy. <laughs> Lots of moss on these trees and I think that's all thanks to that green rain day that we had. That was very exciting just to see how the different villagers reacted and I'm sure we missed out on some stuff. It's so hard to try and go everywhere in a single day and of course different times of the day could signify them characters being in different locations so yeah it's gonna be kind of exciting to go through it a few times throughout the year well once every year I suppose and uh, see if we can discover any other little hidden things on that green rain day because it's even kind of cool just seeing what villagers felt okay to be outside, what ones didn't. Linus didn't seem to mind the rain at all. <laughs> Demetrius was in his little hazmat suit, which was quite entertaining. <laughs> and then of course we were just running around trying to get as much moss as we possibly could. <laughs> I'm sure the other villagers looked at us like wondering what on earth are we possibly thinking of doing? <laughs> Just running around in some weird mutiny green rain. <laughs> at least our skin didn't turn green at the end of the day. Oh right, there's those extra trees up here we can also chop down that the green rain seemed to spawn for us. <laughs> Okay, Robin, I think we should have enough for that upgrade. Hopefully more than enough. Okay, we already have that one. We want the next, the big coop. There we go. I was going to say the deluxe coop, but I'm like, no, that's the biggest one. <laughs> All right, a big coop. That is what we want. Okay, we managed to do that. Fantastic. She's going to start working on that tomorrow morning. I'm sure she's thrilled that she now has an excuse to get out of her exercise classes. Oh, Abigail's up here today. So let's go throw the rest of our stuff back in our chest. We're not going to be needing any, <laughs> any of the tree seeds or the moss for that matter. We will store that for a rainy day. <laughs> Okay, just quickly move all of that over. Oh, wonderful. Oops. Here we go. I can focus long enough to get this stuff in here, I think. Okay, this is where the rest of the moss was being kept. Good, and we'll put our axe back in there. Okay, we do have a little bit of money left. Oh, I'm like running away and I'm like, we should grab a gift for Krovis. All right. Oh, we only have two diamonds. I was hoping we would have had a few more, but that's okay. He also really likes the monster musk, and I really want to try crafting that and giving it to him. I didn't know that was something that he really enjoyed, and it sounds like he has like a little special comment when you give it to him, so I'm kind of curious to see what he has to say about it. We might stop by Gus's and pick up some food for us to take into the mines. I kind of want to see what the mines look like because it sounds like we've been... Jody is in need of refined quartz. Weren't we supposed to give something to George too? LJ. Okay. We should probably take care of both of those quests right away. 
poor George, he's feeling neglected. All right, uh, let's see, there's salad, omelets, a hundred. Okay, we'll just stick with some salad. And then we'll pop down and see Krovis, and then we'll head home. We'll grab that green algae for George and the refined quartz for Jody. And then we'll head off to the mines. Okay, Krovis, here we come. Oh, he's so cute. Please don't be alarmed. I'm different than the others. Aww. <laughs> I'm glad you are. This is an amazing gift. For my people, it is a great honor to receive something like this. Aww. I've spent a lot of time observing humans. I know you like to shop. Care to see my wares? <laughs> That's so cute. So yeah, 5,000 for this void egg. That is what we are going to be after. I'm kind of excited to see the wizard catalog too. Rasmodius's private furniture collection. That sounds like it could be pretty fun. All right, don't worry, George. We are off to get, ooh, could we potentially have some down at the beach? I'm not going to waste our whole day just running around trying to get stuff done. <laughs> oh. On the bright side, we are no longer scouring the place for... Uh... Oh, he looks sad. I want to be just like my big brother when I grow up. Okay, bye. Well, he doesn't seem too happy there. <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad for him. Oh my goodness, it's 5 p.m. already. Okay, please have green algae in here. And of course we don't. <laughs> okay, we'll just shove that in there for now. We can take some of this other stuff back to the house with us. Oh, fertilizer. We should haul that back. All right, a mad dash back home. That is what we will do. Don't worry, George. We are on it. We can always take care of that refined quartz for Jody tomorrow. <laughs> could try fishing some up, but uh, our luck, we wouldn't get it because that's exactly what we want. <laughs> okay, we gotta be quick about this. Oh, yeah. Let's have some triple shot espresso move extra fast. <laughs> oh, Harvey, we ran into you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't think we're in his good books considering how many times we've passed out. Like twice, at least twice we've passed out now. <laughs> Oh, I don't think he's our biggest fan after all of that. Okay. Fertilizer can go in here. Oh, we can also hatch that duck egg, so that'll be exciting. Green algae. Wonderful. Oh, and we have refined quartz. That's pretty cool. Okay, we will get to George first because he is the deadline for today. Jody can also always be given the refined quartz tomorrow. We'll see what we can do, and I want to see if we can take a peek at any of these new mine floors I've been hearing about. There's George. Okay. Hey, is that the green algae I requested? Thanks so much. Here's your payment as promised. All right, 45 gold. You are welcome, George. Okay, what can we get out of the prize machine now? Oh, there's Lewis. 10 mixed seeds. So that purple drink there is called Star Drop Tea. And it is supposed to be a loved gift by all of the villagers. So I'm kind of curious to get a hold of it. And it sounds like it can be given as an extra gift. So if you've already given somebody two gifts in a day, it sounds like you can give that as an extra one. Hello, Pip. Is that the refined quartz I requested? Thanks so much. Here's your payment as promised. All right, Jody. Thank you very much. We are just questing up a storm lately. And one of these days, we are going to get that minecart all fixed up. We should probably take a look and see what is the holdup there. 
because we don't need to spend all of our time running around looking for artifact spots anymore. So it would be worth our while to go find out. It's been too long since I've looked at it. An emerald. Okay, we had that down at the beach. Five quartz and a battery. Uh-oh. Have we gotten a battery at all this year? I'm thinking we probably just set down our first lightning rod not that long ago. <laughs> so we would need it to storm in the last couple days of summer. Oh, goodness. <laughs> We can always check out the traveling cart lady and see if she is selling one. <laughs> we are definitely going to need it for that community center bundle because we don't have want to have to continue to run home every night. <laughs> okay, we'll throw that in there. Let's see if we can stumble upon any of these different mine floors. Let's start lower. That'll give us a chance to get the void essence. Oh my goodness. Okay, so just a fairly normal looking floor here. I guess we can grab ourselves some gold. We want to be able to craft those quality sprinklers. Okay. Oh, little slime. <laughs> oh, I guess we could... Oh, look at that, a diamond. Krovis will be so happy with that. <laughs> um, we can also get a chance to get batteries in the Skull Cavern, so I guess we shouldn't worry too much about that since we do have the desert unlocked. Oh, there's some fire quartz. That'll be handy too for our sprinklers. Okay, let's keep going down the mines. Oh, the bats. <laughs> oh, the bats. Okay. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> now, this floor doesn't look like the usual floor to me, so I'm thinking this is probably one of the new layouts here. But I can't be 100% sure. It's been a while since we've been down in these mines, at least on these particular floors anyway. Ooh, hello, little slime. <laughs> but yeah, this one does look new. I don't recall a floor being like this before, so that's kind of exciting. Oh, look at that, a staircase for us. This floor looks pretty normal. And I'd be very surprised if any of the elevator floors change, so I'm not gonna worry too much about those ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I guess we do have a good chance of getting those void essence for that ghost. Void ghost pendant, I think is its actual name. I was calling it the void pendant, but I think it's actually the void ghost pendant. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel so bad. Oh, we got a new weapon there. Oh, we better run back. I totally lost track of time. <laughs> okay, what can we leave behind? So to craft the monster musk, and I'm not sure if we have the recipe unlocked yet. That is something we will have to take a peek at. Let's take all of the void essence back home with us and the bat wings. All right, so we can leave. Oh, <gasps> wow. That looks like a juiced up sword, a slime gatherer and plus three attack. Um, you know, I'm very tempted to test this out. It looks like it could be better than our current sword. So let's give that a go. I did not know we could get extra goodies on our weapons there. That is so cool. I'm excited. <laughs> All right, let's get back. 
and try not to pass out because I'm pretty sure it's getting to that point where Harvey is not going to forgive us <laughs> if we just carry on with our little passing out phase that we've been going through lately. <laughs> Plus, we need to save all of our money. We want to be able to purchase that void egg. I'm very pleased that we got the diamond and we can also, assuming we have unlocked the recipe, craft the monster musk to give to Krovas. So we do have gifts that will get us to those void eggs. And of course, it'd be nice if we could give him higher quality gifts as well, because I think he'll like that a bit better. Put all of that in there, and here we go. Now, let's go into the house so we hopefully do not pass out. <laughs> and let's check our recipes. Can we craft that monster musk or, oh, we haven't unlocked it yet. Oh, right, because we get that out of the fall bulletin board when it, it comes up. Oh darn. <laughs> that would have been such a good plan, but we still have the diamonds, so that will get us a little ways forward. All right, level six foraging. And what do we have for profits? Oh, look at that. We'll be able to afford that, afford that void egg, no problem. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.